Hello everyone and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. We have our angel here, hip hipster, Curtis. I'm Jamie, your host, and we have it our... It doesn't matter what your name is. What? Well, we don't have to say angel like a hipster anymore. We can just say Curtis. Yeah, Curtis. Well, what fun is that? That's fine. Just Curtis. You now had your birthday It episode. doesn't matter what your name is. We did the birthday episode. We got the angel hair. You're a hipster. Always from now on. I he's cannot too, be a hipster. He's too old to be a I hipster. I am too old. The angel hair Every hipster. time we bring a bottle up that's like I'm a surprise. Oh, I've had it already. Hipster. I've had it already. I no. did it. You're the next level. Yeah, that is Angel hair hipster. You're above. You're right. above. You, you had everything You look but. down at the hipsters like, oh, you guys ain't angel hair. We're just regular hipsters. Yeah. I'm going to look down at hipsters. With your uh, weird not, little mustaches. We're not looking down at anybody. I'm just saying. Shirts. That's the thing, though. It's like <laughs> the, the hipster thing is like, oh, you did you that? Are, you you did are. You are. I did that. Hunger. I did that two weeks ago, dude. That's, that's you, are the happy, it. you are the happy hunter. And that's so true. Happy. Because you are happy all the time. No, not all the time, but I, I am happy. You're, you're, happy. On, you're on the cutting edge of what's developing in the whiskey. In the whiskey. This is Eddie. I'm what do we have on the bottom? What do we in have Iowa. here? I live in Iowa. How can it be on the cutting edge? Somehow you managed to do it, my friend. Dude, no. Dude, dude, okay, this is we a We got very, a special bottle. I am the happy Honduran. I am the happy Honduran, but this is a very serious show. Because winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done it better. Do we need to restart this episode? No. no. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was such a... Wow. Okay. No, no. We well, do not, not even th like the bottle falling over. But no, you guys let's just leave it in there. Leave right. Leave it in there. The natural. Okay. This is okay. Uh, in on, the media. This is in the media. It's been talked about. It's in the news. It's all over the place. This is the Game of Thrones edition of Johnny Walker's Winter. From what I've read, it's the first of eight editions. White Walker, Johnny by Johnny Walker. Right. And and I read originally that it is a single malt. But then I did some more research. I thought, oh wow, I bought it because I thought it was a single malt. And I did some more research afterwards and I found out that it is not Johnny Walker's first single malt. It is still a Johnny Walker's blended whiskey of single malts, which is the same as what they always do. So I was oh, a little man, disappointed so because I was hoping for a Johnny Walker single malt. But oh, see we'll, see, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what it tastes like. I mean, well, let's let's see what it says. It says okay. Here, Once forgotten and reduced to ancient legend, White Walkers have emerged from the frozen north, uh -oh. bringing bringing with them the chill of winter and the promise of terror and destruction to all who stand in their path. Oh my gosh, this is getting sadder. Yeah, they wrote a song. With yeah. their tall blades of ice, capable of sliding through iron, and their silent icy blue. Gaze, they are chill. They are chilling sight. When you see the undead coming, you know winter is here. Winter is here. Jon Snow, you know nothing, Jon Snow. You know nothing. <laughs> so this where is, is uh, your head? Based off the the HBO TV show Game of Thrones, uh, they did a special little collaboration, which we them. are not paid by any means by anybody. We're just talking about it. Yeah, I think they get that. And I Game of Thrones. You know, Game okay. of Thrones. Okay, I like I like Johnny Walker's. Yep. Yeah. I really like Double Black. It's my favorite. We, okay. we I don't know if we talked about that before, but Double Black. Yeah, is my you like the Double Black. Yeah, I mean the blue is like twenty one years old, mm -hmm. blends from twenty one years, and that's kind of nice, uh, but it's way too expensive for my budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm I'm kind of interested in tasting this because we haven't ever really done a blended Scotch. From Johnny Walker. From Johnny Walker. Right. Okay. And we we need to find out what we think. Yeah, and I've had some Johnny Walker um, blue label and green label and stuff, and it's it's cool. I mean, it's it's definitely very good. What's nice? But about I've never this? had I've never had blended. What's nice Johnny. about this is none of us have had this before. Yeah, that's right. None of us have had this before, so we'll find out what we think. Again, it's all promo. I hope that it is a really good whiskey. Yeah. Because, you know, just because it's hype. Yeah, AKA, we hope it's not all uh, sold out, sell out stuff. Nice color. Yeah, it's a good color. Oh, yeah, we just hope it's not a sell out. Like, hey, let's just put some out here and let's see if Burn likes it. <laughs> now, you know, I, I've never oh watched my. Game of Thrones if it's worth 
Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen game, I've never seen an episode of Game of Thrones. I think I've seen like three episodes. I've watched it all. And then I was I'm like, oh current. my gosh. Okay, you're fully current. Yep. And in 2019, supposedly the rest of them are coming out, is what I've read. Yes. And I really do want to see the series because it's the kind of thing that I, I like. But Buy the books. Well, well you, you know, definitely need to. I heard yeah. the books are wonderful. Too. I have one book upstairs, the first book in the series, and maybe I should read it, but I've got like eight other books before it. Um, yeah. So when so, I said you know nothing, Jon Snow, you you guys knew nothing. <laughs> what I was saying. That's a big nothing. line. That's a huge line. In no, the, I just if you're know, a fan just, of the I show. I just know that dude's head gets cut off on the first series. The, the if, first uh, season. If you uh, people that watch the show, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. That's, Hopefully, that's get a little fantastic. kick out of what you said. You know what? I'll, maybe I'll start watching the show and now, uh, now my dear, hmm. my dear friend Cindy, I. Uh, I got, when this came out, this is I got a couple bottles for her because she's a big games of oh, this? fan. Yes, yes. Oh I wow, did. cool. Yes. And I didn't think I was gonna buy it because it's Johnny Walkers and I like Johnny Walkers, but you know, I have there's so many other whiskeys to buy. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've had Johnny Walkers. Uh why buy more? Okay? But then I heard it was a single malt. The first single malt from Johnny Walker, and I thought, wow, I wanna try a single malt from Johnny Walker. So, so they're all blended? So I bought it, and I thought, great, a single malt. We're going to open it up on the show. I'm going to, the, uh, a Johnny Walker single malt. This is going to really be something interesting. Then I did some more research and found out it's a blended single malt. So is it all, so Johnny Walker, is, it's all blended? Yeah, all Johnny Walker's is blended. That doesn't mean it's bad. I, I, I you know, there is a lot of really wonderful blended whiskeys. I mean, that does not mean that it's bad. Okay. It's just that, you know, it's Johnny Walker's again. Remember, a long time ago, you guys bought me a shot at a restaurant and said, "What is it?" Yeah. And I said, "Oh, it's Johnny Walker's." Yep. Yeah. Now, now on the bottle here, it does say "freeze for an unexpected icy reveal." Absolutely, do not freeze whiskey. Why would they ever say that? Well, because you know, most people who are going to taste this, who are fans of the show, are not going to be ready for the intensity of a scotch. And freezing it will oh. diminish the nose. It will take off a lot of the intensity. But I think a lot of people that are going to buy this are going to put it on the shelf and never... It will be never, decoration on the shelf. And they'll never drink it. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? To the nose, I haven't tasted it yet. There's smoke, but it also smells like campfire smoke. Like when you burn pine and stuff. It's like there's like a... Like, no, the smokiness is not there. It's not, it's like not the, the strongest. Yeah. Black, like, I don't, I don't know black. what it is, but it smells like smoke, like yeah. like fire, like yeah. outside. The it, first time I raised it to my nose to sniff it, it I kind of smelled carrot. And I'm still oh. trying to find that now, but it's not coming through. It was I smell really carrot weird. too, but you're right. After the after second smell, I didn't smell carrot. And I thought, what the hell is well, carrot? Well, what is the strong it? smell I smell then? <laughs> Cause this, uh, if it's not smoke, it's something like, well, I, like, I, like, okay, like when you're done in a campfire and you go home and you smell your coat, that's what it smells like to me. Mm. It's definitely a rye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> for our fans at home, <laughs> both of I them, hate these wherever they game. are, <laughs> Game of Thrones, please cut their heads off. <laughs> um, anything that everything has rye in it. Um, you're it's not, a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a blended scotch. Flat Earth. It is barley. There's not going to be aliens Ryan. are real. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it reminds me of Red Label, yeah. which is not as smoky. Mm -hmm. It's not as peaty. It's a wonderful blend. It's yeah. a really nice whiskey. This might be a really good beginner's whiskey because there's I was, not the intensity in the I flavors. was just thinking yeah. that. Like this is like I don't want to compare it to Glen Morangi, but it's like the, it's kind of easy drinking. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got it's got a lot of little different notes in there, but they're not explosive and I can see why they tell you to freeze it Because even though it will be a little bit more intense when you freeze it. It's definitely kind of like a lower Explosive whiskey or scotch same thing So I, I think I think that's why they tell you to freeze it because they know it's not like explosive like other whiskeys I, I, I think I understand why you're saying to freeze it because it would just take it would make it so simple, mm. easier, easier to go down. But yeah. most people are just, they're going to buy this for the, the gimmick. Yeah. This no, is, no, this no, let's not say gimmick. There's a lot of people that really love Game of Thrones, and it's a nice thing for them to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but this I is a collector's thing. I don't, fair. Do you think but see, I don't know. Fair? I don't think somebody might buy this if they love Game of Thrones and not even open it. Or maybe they buy two bottles and open one, but 
Um, this is very easy drinking. I mean, this is like, like, I'm not saying this like water, but if you're like a whiskey scotch drinker, uh, you're like, whoa, this is like a, I'm gonna have a couple, couple of these just to get the night started type thing. This is really, really easy. Easy. You know what this is? This is a way to bring in new, new, new fans yeah. to Johnny Walker. And it's blended. This is, hey, I'm a fan of the show. I might like this. And then they pass it around to their friends. And they're like, whoa, Johnny, Johnny Walker. Oh! I'll buy different Johnny Walkers and try them. Yeah. I really, it's a marketing. It's a marketing. It's well, really well, good well, marketing. I I hope th it's very intelligent marketing. I hope it works for them. But, um, if they buy this and then buy something like black or double black, they are going to be shot. They're going to die. And my opinion and always had been is even though those higher jumps are good, they're yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to slam them because they are really good. Mm -hmm. Double black. Double black is the way to go. You get the intensity, the flavor, the, the smoke. You get everything that you want out of a really wonderful whiskey, and you're not paying an exorbitant price. Black is good, but for, in Iowa, 5 to $10 more, you get double black, and you really jump to a wonderful whiskey. You can whiskey. find that around. Right? Somewhere up there, I have a Ballantines. Oh, right behind Eddie. Of course, always behind Eddie. Mm -hmm. Right between oh. Stag and Thomas Family, oh right gosh. up there in the top shelf. Jump up there. Jump up there. It's I'm a blue box. Blue box. The blue box right there. Oh, Okay, so this is a 17 year old blended whiskey. Okay, this is a really wonderful blended whiskey. I have never heard anybody say anything except this is a wonderful whiskey. Oh my gosh. I mean, some of the whiskey gods who are out there say this is not only a wonderful blended whiskey, this is one of the best whiskeys in the world. Okay. Most people rate this as a five. Five out of what? Five out of five. Most people consider this one of the top blended whiskeys on the freaking planet. Um, of course, Eddie already drank all of his uh, Johnny Walker, so we need to give him a little bit more. Okay. So that he you. can compare, right? We're comparing, right? Yep, we're comparing.